Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is November 29th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see our cutoff low out here actually producing some precipitation. You can see these showers popping off out there, but that is no threat to California this morning. Maybe some mid-level clouds, high-level clouds will move across the region from it. It's actually a little bit happening right now, but there is some fog across some of the lower areas. It's not quite as dense as what's been having, uh, happening the previous days, but it it is still out there if you run into it you know the drill slow down a bit here we'll take a look at what's going to happen with that we'll take a look at what is going to happen with the potential storm system as we go on in through the early portion of next week we'll take a look at the latest on that and we'll go take a look at the extended forecast as always so taking a look at the high resolution rapid refresh visibility ability in miles you can kind of see some areas are not doing too bad this morning you still still saw that those clouds out there but kind of a lower deck of clouds not really restricting visibility as much tomorrow morning again it kind of fills in a bit there but then we start getting some clouds moving across the region a bit more and monday may not have quite as much fog coverage there's monday morning showing right there at the end of that so if we take a look at the infrared satellite imagery you can see some of these clouds trying to creep over the area as we go on in through this weekend and perhaps on into monday morning some of these clouds kind of moving over the top that reduces that radiational cooling there and it can uh, you know not allow that fog to form quite as dense into the sacramento and the san joaquin valley out there so that'd be nice to see. We need a break from that, right? And you can see the dense fog advisories across portions of California are not in effect right now. There's Sacramento and Hanford last few days. There has been those dense fog advisories out there. Now, taking a look here at the 500 millibars or at about 18,000 feet artificial intelligence model. There's that low pressure system off the coastline there. But what we're watching is this next storm kind of carving down the West Coast of North America. And this one just clipping California. If this can track a little bit further west, this would be more of an impactful storm. And some of the models do show that. So show show you more on that here in a moment. We scroll up into the future forecast here, kind of the battle between some ridging and a strong jet stream into the Pacific Northwest and maybe eventually breaking down and coming back into california at the end of the run but we do have this potential system coming up here that i want to show you so there's that cutoff low there out again between Hawaii and California. Then we look for this next system. And you can see it does produce some precipitation across the Sierra Nevada portions of Nevada. And it could bring this upper level low and enough dynamics to bring some moisture across Southern California there, portions of Arizona as well. And then it kind of gets out of there and we go through a relatively quiet period here. Some, uh, some of these systems may be clipping Northern California as we go on into the following weekend and Pacific Northwest looks active. And then maybe that trough starts to get closer towards California as we go way out to the two week period. But if we look at the, the European, the deterministic run here, probably not as quite as good as the artificial intelligence, but it does continue to show quite an impactful storm. So that precipitation starts across portions of California as we go on in through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Then the day Wednesday, it shows a pretty significant storm again. You can kind of see it from San Luis Obispo County, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles, Southern California, some of the Sierra Nevada, getting some pretty heavy precipitation amounts as this upper level low is right off the coastline there. In fact, you can even see a little bit of its surface feature there right off of Southern California. California, that would be on the day Thursday morning. So some big bottle disagreement on what is coming as we go through next Wednesday and Thursday. And if we take a look here, we're looking at the artificial intelligence on the right and the European model on the left. So I'm going to scroll through this and we're just going to scroll all the way out to the end of this forecast just to kind of show you the contrast and some of the precipitation amounts. So there's, again, the European. Look at some of these heavy precipitation amounts across Southern California, much lighter on, on the artificial intelligence. So again, we'll continue to watch this system. Something interesting to watch here definitely for the next few days. Now, if that were to occur in that wind what kind of winds would occur with that system. So if it carves itself out across Southern California, you can see as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday, actually I should just say Wednesday morning, you can see some of these stronger offshore winds, northerly winds in some of the Sacramento Valley, perhaps stretching down across some of the Bay Area. Some of these offshore winds here as well, this low pressure system is right off of Southern California. So again, some things to watch here over the next few days. Let's see what the GFS shows, the global forecast system, the USA model. This is hot off the presses, 12 
Z data. Put this into motion, and here we go on into Wednesday. It just clips portions of California. It does not show a well-developed system off of Southern California. So we do have some disagreement there, and we take a look at the extended forecast on the GFS and see what it shows. It does show some active weather returning, perhaps, as we go on into, what is that, December 8th, 9th, 10th? Who knows? We'll see. It does show some pretty significant storm activity, but again, that's way too far off into the future to get too excited about that just yet. And uh, as we go through this week, there's going to be some king tide activity out here as well. And depending on that storm system, would it really have to take a favorable track to really generate some bigger waves? But it does show it maybe coinciding with some of this king tide activity. So we do have to watch that. And that's mainly on the day Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. So do check these waves, wave forecasts before you head out. Check the tide forecast as well, because sometimes you don't need much wave action for those king tides to have some significant impacts along the coastline. Now, taking a look at daily two meter maximum temperature. This is today, Saturday, November 29th. You can see still getting some of those temperatures cut down a bit because of that fog across the interior portions. You see some nice low 70s in the Southern California, maybe up towards 80 across some of the desert areas, some select locations. There's Sunday, there's Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when that system would be trying to track down across the region. You can see it suppresses temperatures, especially across Southern California. But again, we'll check the track on that. It's going to be changing day to day and run to run as we go through the next few days. And then we go off into the future there and you can kind of see not much changing there, but a little bit of a little bit cooler than what we're dealing with right now across Southern California, but still nice and comfortable. And you can see the Climate Prediction Center's experimental product continues to show the potential for that storm. So they are paying attention to Southern California. Glad to see it, but this is by no means a guarantee at all. So yeah, check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and I will catch you guys in the next forecast.